on Break Me Here with a look at the LEGO Speed Champions 007 Aston Martin DB5 set number 76911. This set has a lot of cool pieces and interesting aspects, but is it really better than the Dodge Charger? Let's find out. First, we start with the box. It shows the car from a few cool angles. Let's open the box and see what's inside. We get two numbered bags, a sticker sheet, as well as the instructions. The building process starts with the James Bond minifigure, but we will take a closer look at him at the end of this review. The actual build of the car begins with the following piece, and we start by building up the interior. After just a few pieces, we can clearly see the manual transmission stick. Next, we need to build the following modules with the frictionless pins, and we can simply connect them onto the chassis, shaping up the car quite nicely. I do wish that we got actual axles instead of frictionless pins though. We add a few pieces to secure everything together, and then we need to assemble these modules, which attach on the sides of the chassis. Following that, we attach the rear fenders, and the next part involves building up the following module. This connects to the rear expanding the car. After that, we need to add a few smooth pieces and the car looks very nice so far. Next, the following module is built up with the license plate and it simply connects onto the car. We also add the brake lights, we add a few more smooth panels onto the rear and we start building up the interior. Bag number one is complete. The second module begins by working on the middle of the car, we simply add a few modules here. Next, we add the smooth curved panels on both sides of the car. The front bumper is partially built up and I love how it uses the shiny metallic pieces. It simply connects onto the front of the car. The front hood of the car is built up and it connects to the front, completing this section of the car. After that, we just connect the windshield pieces onto the car. For the final part, we need to add wheels on the car. Fun fact. The official LEGO company is actually the world's largest tire manufacturer. Now, we can finally take a closer look at the car. Let's start with the front. I don't think this car captures its real-life counterpart quite as well as the Dodge Charger does. Ultimately, the main reason here is the small scale. Many of the edges here make the front look much rougher than it actually is in real life. However, I still greatly appreciate the fact that the headlights are actually printed instead of being stickers. From the front, it looks pretty good and I love all the little details on the car. From some angles, the car looks very nice and I like the overall style. In my opinion, the rear looks a lot more accurate to the actual Aston Martin DB5 and the brake lights look spot on. The sides of the car look pretty good, although there is color variation in the stickers as well as the actual system pieces. I think one of the strongest aspects of this car has to do with the wheels. They are well detailed, look metallic and overall just awesome. The building techniques are very creative in this set. For example, for the double exhaust pipes, a binocular piece is used. Let's take a look at the interior. It certainly feels very luxurious, and I like the little details here such as the manual transmission stick. Did you know that the front seats can actually lean forward all the way? So if a passenger is sitting in the back left, the seat in front can recline forwards, giving the passenger a ton of legroom. There is a very cool detail I appreciate about this set. You actually get a variety of different license plates and you can swap them out very easily. This provides a fun playing experience and you can really make the James Bond minifigure cover his tracks by changing the license plates. Speaking of the playing experience, I would like to address a very important point. The roof in this car is much more securely connected than in the Dodge Charger. If we flip both of these vehicles upside down, the roof from the Dodge Charger will immediately fall off while the Aston Martin's roof will stay in place. I think that from the perspective of aesthetics, the Dodge Charger wins because it is able to replicate the shapes in a much more effective way. However, in terms of playability, the Aston Martin is a much better choice. I also think that the minifigure in the Aston Martin is much better than the one in the Dodge Charger. James Bond has so many details and he's a phenomenal minifigure, whereas the one in the Dodge Charger is simple in comparison. Overall, I do think that both cars provide pretty good value for their money, especially considering that both of them are only $20. However, because of the practicality, I'm going to say that the Aston Martin DB5 is a better set than the Dodge Charger. Will you be buying either of these cars on August 1st? Please let me know in the comments below. This is your Unbreak Me Here and I'll see you in the next one.